So I would like to ask the pre Mr. Hannes Woboda to take the floor for the Socialists. Uh, President. Commissioner Vice President, you said mistakes have been made. Well, grave mistakes have been made. Mistakes which should never have been made. And I don't know about your personal role, there are many rumours, but this also shows the in in transparency, the lack of transparency. But you should never have agreed to the attack on the deposits uh, below the 100,000 uh, euro uh, limit. This is not acceptable. It is destroyed also confidence and trust in the promises of the European Union. And therefore, I think we should change the whole structure of our policies and of the methods. As I said, Commission Vice President, yesterday, we may not like and we don't very often not agree with your policies, but you are democratically elected. You are responsible to this parliament. The Troika is not. Stop the Troika. We don't need the Troika. That is not so necessary. Do you, know, do you know, Commission Vice President, the behavior of the Troika, the rude behavior of the Troika? Do you know how they treated the president, the elected president of Cyprus? Ask them and ask the Cypriot representatives and the rude behavior to the elected uh, uh, representatives and to the citizens of Cyprus and other countries is not acceptable. Let's stop the Troika. You and your colleagues are responsible. You are democratically legitimized. Yes, they are. And, and we want to speak with you about that. We don't need, we don't need the longer the IMF. Madame Legarde says the one thing the IMF representatives do anything else. You have to coordinate, of course, with the ECP, but we have to change. We also have to change our attitude in the Parliament. We should create a subgroup or subcommittee or whatever institutional framework we give it for treating the Euro case, because we need a real dialogue between the Commission, the Council and the Eurogroup, uh, also with the Parliament, and we have to be ready to, for that dialogue. Thirdly, also the Council, I must really say, some members of the Council, like Mr. Scheible, makes comments, these are comments of a neocolonial behavior from above to the citizens. This is not acceptable. And Mr. Scheible should rather look that we get a real banking union. Mr. Scheible should look that we get the single resolution mechanism. Already he makes difficulties. Already he says, well, we have to change perhaps the constitution. And already it is clear that there is no willingness, at least before the election, maybe after the election. But this is not acceptable. We need an efficient and viable banking union. And the last point, Cyprus has potentialities. Cyprus has good people, has uh, people who want to go for innovation, who want to go for the diversification of, this, of the economy. And they will have income from gas and oil. Give them the time, give them the possibility to develop alternative economy. Yes, they need reducing the banking sector. They need diversification. But we are here to help them. We are here to help the Cypriot people and not to dominate them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President Svoboda, the President of uh, Alde Guy Verhofstadt. Yeah, I, I think that everybody can accept uh, that the, the way we handled uh, the, the Cypriot crisis was a disaster uh, the last week months. It's not very serious, naturally, and very fair that we say that to you, Mr. Rain, because it's 